diagram number one the diagram on the right shows a part of graph so this is the graph of x square minus 4x plus 3 so we can see this one is the value so from the graph find each of the following so actually when it say limit so we see here x approaching negative 1 uh, so we can see that x is too near with negative 1 but it is not negative 1. So something like you say when this one is approximately negative 0 0.99999 so you see this one is almost negative 1 but is not actually negative 1 or some limit is something like this lah. So basically so number 1 from the graph if x is equal to negative 1 so when x is equal to negative 1 so we see here the value of y is because it's approximately see so it's almost that value so it's almost negative one or we just approximate negative one so the value of x from the limit from the, the value of x from the limit get you y of a uh, something like that okay number one so number two so x approaching zero so x approaching zero from the graph when x is equal to zero you meet three so this one is three so this one x is x is approaching two so approaching two two is here so when x is two y is negative one so it's three right okay and then the last one x is x is approaching three so at x is equal to three you see here three y is equal to zero Okay, this one is one, this one is four, and this one is five. Okay, I tap right and we have this one. So this one is three. So this one is three. X is approaching one. So one here, you see here, this one is also at the axis. So y is equal to zero. And then, so six, x approaching four. So you see here, there's no x approach, there's no four pointed here so you so you couldn't see from the graph but then you have the equation so you can take the equation to get the value of fx so here limit x approaching 4 so we have x squared for x plus 3 so you see here you have 4 here so you can substitute so this one is 4 square minus 4 3 4 plus 3 so here you get 16 minus 16 plus 3 so you get 3 so here when x is approaching 4 the value is 3 so this one is 3 so b find the possible value of a so a is not in the graph if say that limit x approaching a f x is equal to 8 so here limit x approaching a so we have fx which is equal to x square minus 4x plus 3 is equal to a so here we see here so we know that when we substitute a inside here it won't get 0 or 0 here so we can directly substitute a so here a square minus 4a plus 3 is equal to a so here you get a square minus 4a plus 3 minus 8. You see you bring 8 to the left. Then you get 0. So a square minus 4a, 3 minus 8 is negative 5 is equal to 0. So here negative 5 is equal to 5 times 1, right? And then this is negative. So you know that this one, the two number, either one is negative. And you see negative 4. So you see negative 5 plus 1 is equal to negative 4 so here would be a minus 5 a plus 1 so a is equal to 5 and a is equal to negative 1 okay so here determine the gradient of the tangent dy over dx of the graph by using principle so we know dy over dx we are talking about gradient lah. And we know how the graph change. So we see here the change in the graph delta y is equal to. So we know that the function if fx is equal to y. So the change in y is equal to the change in x. So here would be f x plus delta x minus the original x. So we see here this is function y when x change. 
the new value minus the original x and we will get what is the change of delta y so we will use this as the first principle where from here we will get delta y divided by delta x and dy over dx for the first principle is equal to limit delta x approaching 0 delta y over delta x so the first thing to find by using first principle is that you need to find what is delta y divided by delta x and then you can compare like this okay so, and this is the formula where delta y is equal to function x plus delta x minus f x all right so here we see here we have delta y so we know that delta y is equal to f x plus delta x minus f x and we have f x which is equal to x square minus 4 x plus 3 so we know that f x plus delta x so we know in function right we learn when we change x here to this one so all the value with x will change to this one so here you will get x square will change to x plus delta x square minus 4 x plus delta x plus 3 so here when you expand you get x square 2 times x times delta x you get 2 x delta x delta x square you get delta x square and then this one is minus okay negative 4 times x you get negative 4x negative 4 times delta x you get negative 4 delta x and then this one will be plus 3 so here okay so in case you don't want to calculate here you can just substitute inside this equation is also okay and then since I, just, I have calculated it, so this one is x square, this one is 2x dx, so I have 4x and delta x here. So I get here 4x plus delta x is equal to, so this one is x square plus this one is 2x delta x, so this one, this one, so delta x square. So this one I have 4x minus 4x minus 4 delta x plus 3 so you can calculate delta y so delta y is equal to fx plus delta x minus fx so here you have x square plus 2x delta x plus delta x square minus 4x minus 4 delta x plus 3 and then you have to minus with fx so fx is equal to x square minus 4x plus 3 so here delta y is equal to so you see here x square you don't have okay so you have to expand first you have we see you have the bracket here so you have x square plus 2x delta x plus delta x square minus 4x minus 4 delta x plus 3 so negative and ne negative times x square you have negative x square negative and negative 4x you have plus 4x negative and 3 you have negative 3 so you see here so x square minus x square is 0 so you have negative 4x and plus 4x here and you have negative 3 and 3 here so you are left with 2x delta x plus delta x square minus 4 delta x so in this case you want to have delta y divided by delta x so you take out delta x out so when you have delta x out so you can see everyone with delta, every term with delta x so divide with delta x you have 2x this one divide with delta x you have delta x and then this one divided by delta x you get 4 So now we can have delta y divided by delta x by bringing the delta x to the left. So you divide it to the left and then you are left with 2x plus delta x minus 4. So you know that dy divided by dx is equal to limit delta x approaching 0 2x plus delta x minus 4. And we know that delta x is approaching 0 so you can substitute so here 2 
x. This is delta x and not x plus delta x would be 0 minus 4. So we have 2x minus 4. So this is the function dy over dx. So we know that dy over dx is equal to 2x minus 4. So, determine the gradient of the tangent at point. So, gradient. So, we know that dy over dx is represented by gradient. So, this is the gradient. So, if we have, so we see a dy over dx is equal to 2x minus 4. So, at point 4, 3. So, we see here in, in the formula of gradient, we need x. So, when we substitute, when we get the value of dy over dx, that is the gradient. So you have x is equal to 4. So you can substitute to 4 minus 4. You get 8 minus 4. So you get 4. So dy over dx is equal to 4. So dy over dx is the gradient. So the gradient of the tangent is 4.